Welcome to today's episode of Kaleidoscope's Corner. My name is Bajan, and with me, my co-host, Melody Maldonado. And today, our special guest is Amy Enderly, which is a BCBA over at a Palm Bay location. Amy, it's a pleasure to have you today. Thank you. <laughs> We're going to talk a little bit about maintenance today. So, Amy, tell us a little bit about maintenance. Okay, so maintenance basically to a client's ability to continue to respond in the correct manner long after treatment has discontinued for a target. So they master something in skill acquisition, and weeks or even months later, they're still able to provide the correct response when given the instruction. Awesome. Can you give us an example? So say we teach a child to tie their shoes in the clinic. We go through all of the skill acquisition, they master the target, and we discontinue treatment. But they should be able to continue to tie their shoes independently mm -hmm way down the road after treatment has already discontinued. Good job explaining so far. And tell us, what is why does maintenance matter? Maintenance matters because we're teaching skills in the clinic that we're hoping our clients are going to be able to demonstrate really for the rest of their lives. Awesome. We're not teaching things that they're just going to be able to do when we're teaching it and then they never use it again. We're teaching them things that are going to be meaningful for them really for life. Okay, and I know we do maintenance and check for maintenance of these master's skills in our clinic setting, but what can parents do to kind of help make sure that these skills maintain? That's a great question. So parents really need to be communicating with their child's BCBA, and they need to be attending parent training so that they can learn how to run the programs that we're teaching in the clinic. Mm -hmm. Parents need to be involved in helping their child maintain skills by giving them learning opportunities at home or in the community setting. And the only way you're going to know what skills to provide learning opportunities for is by communicating with your BCBA to know what their child has learned in the clinic. Awesome, awesome. Very well explained. Well, thank you guys for joining us today on another episode of Kaleidoscope's Corner. My name is Bajan. With me, my co-host, Melanie Malinato. And Amy, thanks for joining us again. She's at our Palm Bay location. Again, I'd like to thank you guys for tuning in to today's episode. If you have any more questions on maintenance, please reach out to your local behavior analyst.